Yo, so long guys, my name is Cameron, and welcome back to another video. Now, today, before we do start off getting into this video, I have an apology to make because the lack of uploads recently has been absolutely atrocious. But many, many things have been going wrong. Like the other day, I tried to record two foot drafts, and a boat. I went out on both of them in the first round. And what's the point of me showing you a video like that? It would have been so, so pointless. And yeah, that really annoyed me, then I, I don't know, I just haven't really had many ideas, I haven't had much time, so I recently got a job, so yeah, anyway, I'm going to be quite busy with the job, you know, I'll be working from like, say, 5 o'clock till, you know, closing time, or 7 o'clock till closing time, but yeah, anyway, it depends, you know, when I can get out of videos, but I'm going to try, like, hopefully from now on, I'm going to, it might be, it's not exactly going to be as upload, like, up consistent, possibly as like, one every day, or maybe not even one every other day. But I'm hoping it for it to be like that, you know, it might be, it's not going to be as bad as it has been recently. But yeah, anyway, I just want to thought I would let you guys, pardon me, no, I thought you should let you guys know. Anyway, now, bef uh, let's go get into this hybrid video and this hybrid squad builder. And so anyway, as you can see on the screen now, this is the team that I've gone away and made. Now, it's a pretty nice looking squad, it's a nice all round squad. I don't really have too many problems with it. Although recently, my playing, or like the, how I play at FIFA has been so so bad like when it started off I was alright you know I could play the game I was starting to understand it and then bang I think EA did a patch like some people are saying they did some people are saying they didn't but I think they did a patch because since then I cannot play I don't know what it is but EA whenever the rubbish players because there's more rubbish players than good players whenever the rubbish players are doing bad they seem to make it easier for them and harder for the good people I don't know what it is they did the same last year but you know this is a team now in goal we do have Diego Lopez he did let in quite a few dodgy goals, but to be honest, he, he's in there for the chemistry of everyone. Anyway, now on the two centre-back positions, we have Bartra and Mexes. Good pace, good physical, good defending. Have no problems with them whatsoever. Good in the air as well. Then we have Abate, who I couldn't believe was like 1,900 coins. I thought he'd be a lot more, but he is solid. Then we have Guy on the left-back position. You know, they're both very good all-round left-back and right-backs. CDM with Perez, bit, you know, kind of controversial, but he does have high defensive work rates, and his stats are so, so nice. I mean, you could play him Cam, you could play him CDM, it doesn't really matter. He's going to do a good job. And in left mid, arguably the weakest position in the team is Piatti. I don't know what it is. His car looks really, really nice, like four-star skills, 87 pace, 82 drilling, but he doesn't seem to play that well. Guaranteed he's got a goal on the assist, but yeah, he's left mid. Right mid we have a Turbe who I have no problems with, he's really really nice to play with. I remember playing with him in the demo and I really enjoyed him and I still do. At the can we have Insigne, one of the best dribblers you know, in FIFA 16. He is honestly doing so well, 89 pace, 87 dribbling, 2 assists there, he's not too bad. And up front we do go and have, these aren't the two best strikers, I'm trying to save up for Dybala or um, Higuain. But anyway we have Balotelli there. 4 star skills, 4 star weak for no problems over him, he's actually not too bad. Then we have Giuseppe Rossi, apart from, he is only 5 for 8 and 52 physical which isn't the best. But apart from that I'm pretty happy with him and this team performs nicely. It's overall it's probably around 15k, you know by the time you're watching it it may have gone down to 10k. You never know because you know it depends when this video comes out. But anyway guys I'm going to go and get into a game now and show you how it performs. Okay, so this guy, we found an opponent, anyway, this guy, he has basically a non-rare BPL team, but he has Valencia and Carroll in there. To be honest, I don't know much about these players, I know it's like AU, Carroll, AU, his brother, uh, Valencia, Cork, I think that is, Colicini, but apart from that, I don't really know too much about his team. I'm hoping we can get this win, honestly, as I told you before, I haven't been playing the best at FIFA recently, but yeah, no, let's try to get a win. Nah, he's not away, is he? Lopez, no! Get in goal, get in goal. Why are you, you walking? Come on, get in goal. Oh, thank God for that. Oh, Insigne there with a the no-touch dribbling. Have a shot. Ooh, what a save there. The no-touch dribbling, I haven't got the hang of it yet. I mean, I'm not even sure what it's actually good for. That was lovely. That was lovely. Insigne, Insigne, you don't need strength. Oh, what a goal from Insigne there. To be honest, I haven't been trying the L1 dribbling, but there, he took out like two defenders with it. That was so, so nice. Insigne, although he's small and weak, his dribbling pace really makes up for it. So look at that. Go on, Insigne, just have a crack. Oh, so close. I'm actually really enjoying the no-touch dribbling. This is the first game that I've actually tried to use it. Ooh, who was that? 
Insigne, why are you in the box? I set your instructions to outside. So yeah, anyway, there we have it. Half time, we're one nil up, and we I think we're dominating this match. Eight shots, four on target. He's had four on three. But yeah, anyway, Insigne has probably been the man of the match so far. He's been doing really, really good. Yeah, look, a 7.8 there. Let's see if anyone else is better. Nope, he's doing the best. He's honestly had such a good game. Diego Lopez as well. I mean, some of the shots that this guy's been taking, he's let in in previous games, so he's doing well. <laughs> that was a bad tackle. That was a really bad tackle. Thank God for that. That was close. That was really close. No, 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 no. Come on. Seriously? Jamie Cook. He's a CDM. What is he doing up there? Come on, please. Fucking hell. Andy Carroll's like 32 pace. By the time he's touched and controlled the ball, a bar he's gonna be up his flipping arse. <laughs> what the fuck? Who even is De Jong? One, he plays for Newcastle. Two, he doesn't start for Newcastle. That means he's a shit player and he can't take free kicks like that. There we have it, 1-1. One, one. Good god, that second half was absolutely shit. I'm not gonna lie. It was shit. Like, he's got 10 shots, 7 on target. I can't get out of my own half. It is so frustrating. Like, 9 shots, 5 on target. I'm pretty sure we had 5 on target last time. But yeah, I mean, my players are about to keel over and die. They're so tired. I really need to make that, what's it called, bloody other team. But yeah, no, substitutions. These are all lone players before you're wondering, like, why don't I sell these? But yeah, I'm not going to play them just yet. I'm going to wait until a little bit. Be Rossi, please. Yeah, he ain't got any bloody stamina. Balotelli, please. Balotelli, come on. Tell me this, okay. So that player there, Balotelli was clearly in front of him. In real life, Balotelli is going to use his flipping body. He's going to use his strength. Because that is pretty much all he's actually got in this game. A defender from behind him. And then They're not even going to bother to make a fucking challenge. Because he's going to go down for a penalty. But for some reason, Balotelli gets beaten there. And he just gets fucked over. Like, this game doesn't make sense. When a player has the ball at their feet, they're either, like, they have two pace. Or they're just as weak as a flipping marshmallow man. Balotelli, go, please. Let's just have a shot. I don't care. He's not going to be a... Uh-oh, retard alert! Balotelli retard had no one on him. Class. I'm pretty sure he could have... I'm not going to bother. Bloody hell. First half... Of extra time is over. I reckon this one's going to go to penalties, but before that, I'm going to make a few substitutions. Greasy Griezmann's going to come off for Balotelli. Vidal's going to come off for Perez. Duh. Hazard on for a turbo, just because these players are absolutely dying right now. <laughs> they're like they're about to keel over and die. Griezmann, have a shot. Yes, thank you. Look, Griezmann, get in. I, I, to be honest, I'm not sure what it is right now, but I don't know whether it's because bad players or like average players are bad and good players are really good. But yeah, look, look at that. Griezmann there managed to pull off the flipping thing, and he actually managed to get a shot on target for once. Like any, like unlike any of my players. Door. What the fuck? Seriously. Why was Gaia there? Honestly, they have the same problem as last year. Left backs and right backs get pulled out of their position like they don't even give a fuck. And then they all of a sudden leave one of their men open and they get a goal every time. It's the same as last year. No. No. Come on, Gaia. Let me switch to flipping Gaia. God. What was going on there? What was going on there? Penalties. Good God. Griezmann, top left. Top left. No, top right even. Fuck. I thought that went wide there for a second, but what a penalty that was. Yes! Diego Lopez there. Get shot on. Let's go up, 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 up. Yes! You didn't know that. You didn't know that. Come on. You're not going to get this one. You're going that way, son. You're going that way. Oh, you bull bag. Let's go bottom right. Oh, fucking hell. That's... Oh, my God. 
Okay, he's going to go in the middle, isn't he? No. We just have to not miss one. We've already got the save. Yes, get shat on. He's going down the middle, isn't he? No! Oh, come on, Carol. You shouldn't be scoring those. Insigne, the man, the legend. Let's go. Oh, fuck no. If we score, we would have won. Yes! Lopez, you lad. You absolute lad. Lopez. Get him. Yes. Thank God for that. Oh my god. Wait, did that just hit him in the face? Did that hit him in the face? Oh no, he did save that. It looked like it hit him in the face from behind. But yeah, Diego Lopez there with a cartwheel to celebrate. The game, it was very... I don't know what the word was. I don't know. The first half was easy. Second half and after that was hard. I guess you could say. I'm not sure what went wrong with the whole thing. But yeah. Diego Lopez there. Fair play to him. He got 12 saves. He did great. Honestly, his team, I didn't even heard of half his players, which is embarrassing. But yeah, who else did well? So we got the shots on target. Insigne did the best. I don't think we got many shots. Yeah, we got 13 shots, 6 on target. That is a bad, bad, bad. Yeah, he had 19 shots, 13 on target. So yeah, honestly, that was, that was a flipping hard game, honestly. But yeah, anyway, guys, if you have enjoyed the video, please go and leave a like. My next video or something will probably be... Like, why I don't like this game, so like that. But anyway, that's enough from me. If you have enjoyed this video, please go and smash the like button. If you're new, I take go and subscribe. I do you have a nice day. Peace.